Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode two of the Skyblock Utopia Skyblock series. Uh, I think that made sense. Here on Hopi Legends. Now, as I can tell from episode one, the island is looking a lot more schmexier, if that's even a word. But uh, we have been grinding a lot. As you see, some of the island members are here grinding and uh i have a lot to kind of explain in this video a lot has happened the meta has changed extremely or at least has been found since episode one and i'm gonna be kind of going over everything that's happening on the server what i'm doing to gain money exp and mob coins what higher players a lot better than me are doing and uh, kind of what i think you should do uh if you are starting soon here on the server if you enjoy the video make sure you leave a like comment as always subscribe we're gonna be giving away a thousand credits in this video as well so make sure to enter in that all you gotta do is leave a like on the video subscribe and then drop your minecraft username in the comment section down below next video i'll roll the winner without further ado let's get into it all right so to start we got an iron golem farm going right here there's only like eight igs in it so it's not that much but what we've been doing grabbing these condensed ones they're really easy to get condense these once oh god i just I didn't mean to use it. Oh, it didn't, it didn't use it. Okay, hold on. Throw in my inventory. Give me an open spot so I can open this chest. All right, bang. As you can see, this turned into iron blocks. Now, this is not going to sell for near as much as it could if it was a full chest. I think someone told me they got a full double chest sold for like 23 million, and that's also with all the boosters, the money pet boosters. As you can see, we got a money pet 100, looting pet 100, and mom coins pet only 46, but we're getting that to 100, and we're honestly trying to grind for an XP pet um because that is extremely overpowered but we'll go ahead and activate this money pet i'll kind of show you how it works activate the money pet then i'm gonna go over to this chest where we have cell ones and boosters i'm gonna grab do we have any money boosters over here i know i have them in my actually i think i have one in my inventory there you go 1.5 money booster cell one should be over here there you go cell one five uses <laughs> we don't need 24 we only need one of them um but what we're gonna do activate this 1.5 booster and then just sell that and as you can see 500k from literally a stack of iron blocks so that's a good amount and keep in mind we had our money pet activated which gives me a loan for wreck so if i do slash multi money which i think it is as you can see right now we have a 6.9 times money booster obviously there's ways to get more through armor boosters as well but as you see active pet four times cash cow which is one of the skull buff we don't even have that activated or, or that leveled up a lot as you can see cash cow right here we only have four levels it goes up to 30 so we, we've been working on this as well obviously this blazing enchant i think is one of the best that's what i'm trying to get maxed out maybe even in this video because it just makes my xp multiplier so much more higher so for money we've been selling the igs and having someone afk that grinder basically permanently and another thing you can do which is great for money is activate your looting pet which gives me times four boost on looting and then iron golems we've been honestly buying iron golem spawners to place here so we can get this stack where it doesn't disappear but if i get a full inventory of this which i get pretty quickly especially with this 4x looting pet as you can see I'd say about half an inventory. Um, now activate the money pet and slash sell all right there. 500k. Crap ton of money. And look, we only have 20 spawners here. It costs a good amount to get these spawners. Four mil per. So I'm actually going to go and buy another right now. And then another thing we've been doing is overnight when we're not online to actually AFK these iron golem spawners. We throw all these iron golem spawners in the AFK grinder. So that's just making us more money overnight. So iron golem spawners are making us a lot of money. Now, as far as EXP, blazes are obviously the best. Now, we don't have many blaze spawners right now, but is warp Wil wilps i don't really know how the heck you say this name as you can see i mean everyone on the server grinds blazes here because they have so many spawners and they were one of the early players that got really overpowered really soon so they set up a public grinder and this is a great way to get exp as you can see hold on let's go throw a gg in chat for someone purchasing some credits but as you can see on the scoreboard my exp goes up really really fast and i don't even have an xp pet or an xp booster going so usually i will oh they bought a month of crate we're actually going to be opening a month of crate here in a sec and we're praying for a smart chest or mythical pet box but as i was saying we don't have an xp pet xp pets are extremely rare one of the most like one in things here on the server currently so if we had that that'd be a lot overpowered but grinding blazes gives me a crap ton of xp especially with the boosters and it also gives you a good amount of grind keys and makes a good amount of money now as far as nether wart goes really there's no pet at the moment to give you more nether wart other than the money pet obviously i always have that activated when selling it but what nether wart is really good for it makes a lot of money don't get me wrong but i wouldn't say currently it is the best way to make money i wouldn't say that but i mean if i go through 
as you can see, I would count that as one strip. Every like three or so strips, I get a full inventory and it sells for, I think it was, wait, I actually, let me go and get a full inventory and let me see how much it sells for. Okay, we went ahead and got a full inventory and now with the money pet activated slash sell all, gives you about 274K and obviously we have some slots that are taken. So about 200 to 300K, which is like really good. But the better part about grinding this is the grind crate keys. You get so many of these. I'm gonna go and redeem these. If I do slash crates, so get this, I'm saving up crate keys because with player level, as you can see on the scoreboard, I'm only player level 12. The higher your player level, the better loot you get from crate keys. So I'm basically stocking up my crate keys until I get player level 25, which don't get me wrong, that's going to be a freaking grind. But at player level 25, supposedly you get so much better rewards. It's really obvious from crate keys. So at the moment, I'm literally saving all the crate keys I get until I get to that player level. As you can see, we got some loot keys, super keys, prize keys, grind keys. But as far as this monthly key, I don't think it works like that unless it does. And that's going to suck. But I really want to open this monthly key right now. And let's just do it, okay? Because I really want to get a smart chest. Smart chest is also another thing on the server right now that is like wanted by everybody. So we're going to see if somehow we can pull that or a mythical pet box to potentially get an XP pet. Here goes nothing. Open key. The final reward is really what we're going to be looking for. And oh my gosh, I'm sorry. It's a little loud, boys. I think the final reward. Okay, here we go. So what do we get here? We got condensed one, enderman spawner, blaze spawner. That's pretty good. Oh, I missed this one. Three times money, three times XP. A lot of money there. That's actually, these boosters are really good. Um, and then a three times, uh, okay, no, just mob coins. And now this is, okay, what option? We only get one of them. Oh my gosh, this is the money maker, boys. We need something good here. Please give me a mythical pet box or a smart chest. Come on, what are we doing? We're going to go three. Come on, come on, come on. Please, please, something good. Oh, I see them. I, I see them. Oh, no. Okay. Well, oh, I could have got six magnet chests, which aren't as good as. So honestly, wait, none of the options would have gave me the smart chest. But what? Wait, what do we get? What? What do we just get? We get a G kit. Is that what I saw? I think. Oh, it's not even permanent. It's just one time. Oh my god, we took we took the biggest hell. That is not very good. I mean, I guess if I want to go to PVP, this would be good. And I guess this hoe is good. This is a good starter hoe, honestly. I guess it's. Is it better than my current one? No, it doesn't have as much locksmith. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna go into PvP. I want to use this, but oh, that's just devastating. So another thing about farming. Today is Monday when I'm recording this video. I am honestly not sure when y'all are gonna see this video and when I plan to release it, but they plan on releasing a massive update today that contains something to do with a crop backpack, which is gonna make farming a lot more overpowered, I believe. So who knows? By the time this video is releasing, farming may be the meta. Uh, I, I'm not saying farming is not the meta. It's still really good, especially for grind keys and just other ways and for money alone. But this crop backpack, I believe, is gonna make it a lot better but right now what i'm doing i'm gonna actually go over to the public blaze farm and try to stock up on exp because i need to continue upgrading my armor blazing i definitely need to keep getting because that's just ultimately going to give me more exp and then i also need lucky golem to find more grind keys because more grind keys once i get to p level 25 is just going to give me a crap ton better rewards also the reason I'm not really using my mob coins right now is because I'm almost positive um, that this new crop backpack is going to be in the mob coin shop. So I'm literally saving up for it. Who knows if I'm going to um, still be recording this video when they release the crop backpack. If so, obviously, I'll make a clip about it. But uh, yeah, just kind of wanted to let y'all know they do have an update ready for tonight. And that's going to be one of the things in it. So I've been grinding for a little bit. I'd say about five minutes. As you see on the right side, I have 82,000 EXP. Now we pulled this 3x experience multiplier from the monthly crate. We're going to go and activate it. I know I probably want a higher blazing before I do this. But I have blazing 7, so it's still pretty good. So if I go and right click, if I do slash multi experience, or I spelled it wrong. Don't talk about it. Multi experience. We now have a 5.75 boost so we're gonna see how much exp we get for 10 minutes because that's how long the booster is gonna last for so i'm literally just gonna sit here and grind for 10 minutes and bring all back and we'll see how much exp i got all right so the multiplier has expired as you can see we have 345,000 levels now now so it gained us a lot i think we had like 70 grand before the 10 minutes so it was definitely very useful now what i'm gonna go ahead and do is spend all that exp 
on blazing hopefully i can get two levels get up to level nine we'll see though there's one and then there's two okay so one more level away from having it maxed out which is only 192,000 exp which shouldn't be too hard to grind also the good thing about grinding with these mobs while i have this money pet activated i would just slash sell all occasionally when i have the full inventory and that's 326k just like that and i would get a full inventory like pretty soon i probably made nearly around three mil just from that 10 minutes which is like pretty good for me i mean obviously for the you know better the bad the good players here on the server that's probably absolutely nothing but for the starters and i say like middle tier players like me that's pretty good okay so now that puts us at a 2.2.25 times multiplier just from the blazing enchant and actually once i get 192,000 more that's going to put us at a permanent 2.5 times uh multiplier which is good and that's just permanent with this armor on so blazing is definitely something to focus on now after we get that maxed out which i'll probably just go ahead and go for within the next 30 minutes then i literally want to put all my focus in lucky golem just to be able to grind out those grind keys uh, and just keep storing them because if i go ahead and redeem all these keys also one thing i want to do before we look into our keys grab in my pv my mob coins pet i'm just trying to get this to level 100 just so i have a level 100 all pets obviously except for the experience pet put all the food there level 54 there we go throw that back in the pv boom and then now if i do slash crates as you can see we're up to 165 grind crates i mean people have thousands and thousands so it's not like I have that much, but again, I'm saving them up until I get P level 25, which is, it's going to be a while. Maybe next episode will be there, but I mean, I'm going to have to put in one heck of a grind to get there. All right. So as you can see, we have 12 million. We have 21 spawners, IG spawners in this stack. I'm going to go ahead and buy three more. And since I'm probably about to get off for the night, I need to go ahead and go ahead and pick all these up and then move them over into our AFK grinder um, right here, just so, you know, they'll obviously go into the chest overnight. 32 spawners there. That should be good. Also, I might want to expand this storage because overnight I feel like these three chests will 100% get filled up. But one more thing, why not go ahead and use the condensed wand and see how much money we get from this. So let's go and throw that back in, go and activate this. And wait, wait, we need to sell one. Hold on, sell one here. Boom. Can't use stack cell ones. I forgot about that. Boom. 1.62 million. Okay, not that bad. Hopefully overnight we'll make a lot more than that because these chests all should be filled up. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and create or, or make this storage a lot bigger. I think blue was just over here. Blue kind of has ran all this. So I want to make sure it's okay with them before I do it. But I'm probably just going to go and do that. Um off off vid or whatever you call it uh, off, off camera i think that's how you say it. but that's gonna wrap up this video if y'all made it to the end let me know by the way people have been freaking buying credits left and right i've just been hearing that noise literally the past 10 minutes the entire time but if y'all made it to the end of the video let me know in the comment section down below i appreciate your support a lot hopefully y'all are enjoying the series as much as i am recording it because i'm freaking loving it and a month to create best of luck to him i had horrible luck uh, he actually got two of them but maybe he'll have better luck than me but i'll see you guys in the next video peace out